Um, R3 again, order of operations with absolute value problem type one. So if you remember our order of operations, we have the groups, then the evaluate, then the multiply and divide, and then the add and subtract. So I do have an absolute value bar, which can be considered a grouping mechanism, but there's nothing to do inside that grouping mechanism. So I really don't have a quote unquote group, okay? However, I do have to evaluate that absolute value next. And so it doesn't matter what is inside the absolute value, it will always come out positive. Regardless if it was already positive or if it's a negative, it always comes out positive, okay? Then there is no multiplying or dividing to do here, but the last thing I have to do is subtract. And seven take away nine is actually, oops, I don't know what was in my calculator. Seven take away nine is a negative two. Now here, you do have the absolute value bars, but notice that there is something to do on the inside. So in this case, the bars are considered a group. And if I work that out, seven minus two is negative two. However, I still have the bars around it. So when I evaluate this, remember, it doesn't matter what is on the inside, it will come out as a positive. And so in this case, we end up with positive two. Similarly, for another example, there is something to do inside the bars, so that must be done first. So I get bars with a positive one on the inside, and then for it to come out, it's still going to be positive one. Here, um, there's nothing to do on the inside, so the next step is to evaluate this, and the absolute value of negative six is positive six, and if I add seven, I end up with 13. And so those would be the two responses here.